ask him. Alan Gottlieb is the chairman of the Citizens Committee for the Right to Keep and Bear, gun, bear Arms, I should say. Alan, thank you for joining us. And uh, go ahead, give us your uh, best shot, if you will, uh, on telling us what's wrong with Chicago's gun laws. Well, Chicago has virtually an absolute ban on the ownership of handguns. The handgun ban, our lawsuit, McDonald versus Chicago, struck it down, but they make it next to impossible to own a gun in your own home because in order to get a permit to have it in your home, you have to have range training, but then they went and banned gun ranges, so you couldn't get the range training. We sued over that and won over that, too. They have a new law, though, that makes it next to impossible to build a range in Chicago, and it's totally illegal for anybody in the city to be able to carry a firearm that's loaded for self-protection outside your home, a, ca a case that we just took to, to federal court in, in Illinois and just the other day had overturned as being unconstitutional. So, Alan, so you have, you, I, wait, I wait, you. hold on, hold on, hold on for a second. So nobody who's a legitimate law-abiding person can really defend themselves or have a gun. But meanwhile, with all that strict gun control, you just gave the news report showing how bad things are. That's what gun control does. Uh, and it, just, it just enables uh, I, the bad guys, and you can't protect yourself. I, I love that you think that people that live inside Chicago can't get guns. It's not like Chicago is a country in and of itself. It's an island in an ocean of guns. It, for example, you can go outside of Illinois, there's a gun show loophole in every nearby state, every neighboring state. You can buy a gun with no waiting period, no well, nothing. On, so isn't it the second, easiest Jay, thing in the world Jay, to get wait, guns wait, into wait, Chicago? Jay, calm down and take a Valium. The fact of the matter is, is that you can't go buy a handgun in another state that you're not a resident at a gun show or not. It's totally illegal in the law right now. And in Illinois, to be able to own a firearm, you have to have a firearms owner's ID card, an FOID, in order to be able to purchase a gun. So, and that's at gun shows in the state of Illinois. Illinois has the strictest gun control in the country. And take a look at the carnage in Chicago. How do you explain the carnage? I explain it because there are 89 guns per 100 people in this country. You can't but remove Chicago. Chicago. Hey, why, I got a, Alan, I got a challenge for you. Why don't we try that kind of gun control that they have in Chicago across the country for a year or two years and then see how it goes? You want to do that? Well, we've had it in places like, like uh, Washington, D.C., who's, who's gun bans No, 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 no. We, remember, we had an assault weapons ban. Down, down, not up. No, 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 no. No, no, that's not across the country. You keep giving me islands with an ocean of guns. Now, when we did it well, across because, the country, hold on, Alan. Like that, Alan, hold on. Less guns. When, when we did there assault weapons guns ban, capita in didn't we have in less gun violence? When we no, did we it, don't. We have more gun violence. That is not Chicago, true. We have more gun Chicago, violence now, but it is out of control. Washington, D.C., the places with the strictest gun control have some of the highest homicide rates in you our country. You keep going back to the islands within the ocean of guns. And by the way, so let's go with your thing, right? <laughs> so you tell me, you tell me that the problem in Chicago is that there weren't enough guns, right, for people to protect themselves. I'm not but saying no, hold there on, enough, wait a minute, that's well, exactly well. what you said. Now, but I'm not a lot of these were, that everybody should hold have a on. gun. Hold on. I'm advocating for now. Wait a minute. For self Let me ask the question. But in most of these shootings, or I should say, a lot of these shootings, it was gang shootings. Both sides have guns. So why didn't it work? Isn't that your ideal dream scenario? Do, I, I, oh, no. Oh yes, both I, of the no, sides have guns. No, because I don't guns. think gang members. Okay, so what I happened? They got gang shot anyway. Were criminals. You haven't taken that Valium yet. I don't think gang members who are criminals should be able to have guns. The law specifically all across all 50 states denies no, but you people like that from me, having guns. You tell me more from? guns they equals more safety. Legally. You tell me more guns equals safety, but both sides have not guns and they kill members. themselves anyway. Not for gang members, but for homeowners and for shopkeepers in places like Chicago, yes. Do you not know for that gang some, members. Do you know that people that get shot are actually four and a half times more likely to have a gun on them when they got shot? So why didn't their guns help them? Well, you're leaving off the other side of the equation. Uh, uh, more people use a firearm every day in this country to protect themselves from violence than, gun, than guns are used in crime. In order to get a good public policy answer, you've got to look at both sides of the equation. You can't look at one side of the equation and come up with the right answer, and that's exactly what you're doing. That's actually not true. Let me give you the exact fact here, if I can find it in time. Um, an analysis showed that uh, guns in the home are the more analysis? likely... Uh, is, who's the, okay. who's the analysis? First which, of all, which you haven't even... Gun? Hey, talk about taking a value. You haven't even heard the analysis yet. Maybe you agree with it. Hold on. Tell, t wait. Okay, wait, and tell I'm going to tell you, but dude, I'm going to tell you. Take... Okay, don't shoot me. Okay, a survey found that guns in the home are more likely to be used by men to intimidate women than against strangers. And other weapons, such as baseball bats and knives, were more commonly used than guns in self-defense against strangers. That was from the Journal of Social Science and Medicine.
a very well-known anti-gun rights publication that refuses to print <laughs> studies done on the other side. They refuse to print they studied studies it done and by you other don't people. like the studies. You don't because like the results. Want to be balanced. One last thing for you. They Alan. refuse to print the other side of the equation. Yeah. Okay, Alan. There are a lot of there are no, a lot no, of university scientists. studies. They're scientists. They study. There are a lot of university okay. studies they're done by scientists. They're not gun freaks like you and you who are whoa, totally whoa, biased. Okay. Wait, Alan, there's, last there's question. There's a lot of university professors that do independent research. They refuse to publish. Alan, last question for you. Okay. Uh, so I assume that you uh, definitely want Iran to have a nuclear weapon. Of course not. Well, wait a minute. More arms equals a safer world. So why don't we give nuclear weapons to everybody? Then we'll be uh, perfectly safe. More arms in the right hands. Iran oh, is not a, I is see. A criminal and nation. Alan, I don't who's want gang members. I don't want criminals having guns. Alan, if you make the laws so incredibly lax, who's going to determine whether they're in the right hands or not? Are you going to be in every gun show? Are you going to be in every gun place? Are you going to be? Is it going to be the Allen Law? Well, hey, if you're the right kind of guy, believe me, I'm going to let you have a gun. If you're wrong kind of guy, Allen won't let you have a gun. How the hell do we That's know? That's the way the law should be. You want guns for everybody, you know, no, as much I don't as possible. Want guns for as, every, I don't as much want guns as possible, everybody. right? And then when we're swimming in guns, you go, oh, well, look at that. Uh, we're, the wrong hey, wait, guy well, got well, it. What's the emotional rhetoric here? We're not swimming Why in guns. Why am I emotional? Because people keep getting shot and killed, Alan. Why are you How not emotional? How many guns are in your bathtub? <laughs> Come on. What? Let's be ridiculous about this. You are being I mean, 99, ridiculous. 99% 99 percent of gun owners do never misuse their guns in this country. We're and the one percent who do, element, and that's what and the one percent who do, even if I believe your number, the one percent, which is a giant number, by the way, that's three million people in the country, keep murdering us. We go to malls, we go to movie theaters, and they keep so murdering us, do, what, and they can't murder us with flaws. Sure they don't. That, they that can't, you can't. This don't guy get in Portland. Their firearms, all right, last thing. This guy in Portland don't lose their rights no, because this, one percent of people use ass. their rights. This guy in Portland shot at, at least sixty times. You can't go in with a knife and stab sixty well, people. I you can't go in with a bat. shot and, twenty and, times. Oh, only twenty and, times. And how many times did they show in Colorado? Over a hundred times. You can't do that with a knife. What you like, Alan? Alan, what you love is making killing more efficient. You. You love I mean, calm down. efficient you murder. Get, you get any facts That's what in. you love. All right. I Alan, don't thank love you for joining us. Yeah, it's yeah my well, pleasure. that is the result we get when we have your terrible, insane policies. But thank you for joining us, Alan Gunn.